Hello, my homies. One smart cat doing some Yurtun Slayer Hordes of Hell. I looked up how to say that top word. I think I said it right. If I didn't, I apologize. So, this is a limited early playtest of this game. And according to this dev note that was put out today, apparently they only put in a hundred players at this time you know i don't know how truthful that is but it says here you know basically thanks for everybody who put in a chance to participate uh we're unable to get everybody in because of time limitations that being said the first hundred players the fastest ones are opening the doors to the norse underworld today now yeah according to that I guess only a hundred people are on this game right now. And if that's true, that's pretty cool because I've been having a good time with it. This is basically a mob game, you know, kind of like Vampire Survivor or any of those other games that have come out. But this one has some pretty damn cool models, at least whenever you look at them, you know, standing, freestanding here in the menus. Right now, all we get is a Berserker, and we can get a couple of his weapons eventually. The other models look great. I really wish I could play uh, this person, the Cirrus, for two reasons. I love Spellcasters. Spellcasters is my jam. And she's absolutely awesome looking. You know, she's all Nordic and evil and dark and you know, eyes binded with horns. She looks like a fucking badass. I really wish I could be playing this character. Later on, they are also having what looks to be like some sort of rogue archetype and also an archer archetype. We can't play any of those yet, but I have done a few games with the Berserker. You can see over here, I've got in most of the base passives. You know, these games are basically you play, you lose, you play, you lose, and you build up your passives and all that stuff to get further and further in. So I do have uh, a little bit better attack speed, collecting range, damage reduction, a little bit more health, all of this stuff that's gonna help me stay alive a little bit longer. And you can see here, the way the Berserker works is he has a rage ability that has a 10% chance to trigger every time he attacks. If it does trigger, we get bonus movement speed, bonus damage, and bonus health regen. So that's nothing we can really control, it just happens. He also has something called Hot Blood. The more HP we're missing, the faster our attack speed goes. And Survivor, he gets 100 extra health than whatever the base health is, along with a little bit of HP regeneration. His axes, his starting axes, have a 5% critical hit chance. We do get other ones if we save up our gold and get those. We don't know what they do yet because I haven't unlocked them. That being said, let's jump into some of the gameplay. Now, the game is a 15 minute time limit and it does let you play on keyboard or controller. I prefer the controller. As you level up, you get stuff from, so you could get stuff from Thor or Freya. And there's also a class specific one that you're able to get as well. I don't know if they're gonna add more of this stuff or not, but for starting off, these are the two that you're able to get stuff from. Let's see, Thor, we can get more health. Lightning cross strikes the enemies, summons lightning sentinel, which strikes the enemies. This sentinel is actually pretty cool. It's like a little stationary object that will shock the creatures. It doesn't do that much damage starting off, but we can build it up. Here is the Berserker one I'm talking about. So this is class specific. So later on, whenever you're able to get the other, you know, fighters and stuff, they'll also have like their own little class specific one. So let's see, what do we get here? A higher critical chance might actually be good because there's other stuff that you can get. Oh yeah, this right here. He gains five health uh, every time he does a uh, crit hit. So 
30% chance triggers on critical hit. Let's do 15% critical chance. Now, over there in the top left, there are actual missions that you need to do. So we need to get to three braziers. Let's go ahead and start making our way downtown. Uh, making our way over here. And we got that dude flying in. Those things like to blow up on you. Now we have to stay standing in this. Come on. Uh, let's do Freya. Chance to stun enemies upon taking a hit. Decrease. Uh, oh, increase damage of the skills. And a wave. Let's do the wave. Those are usually good to help out. You do get a little bonus attack right there. Like I just did. He throws a bunch of axes everywhere. Now, as the time keeps going, uh, stronger and stronger enemies show up. So we have to kind of push towards our objectives. And the cool thing about this is you, right now I have it set to automatic swings. And uh, so the, the attacks just keep going nonstop and they attack whoever's closest. But you are able to change that to where you know you manually do the swings and you manually aim the swings so depending on how you want to play it you're able to do it both ways i need some extra damage i'm not doing anything to these guys uh attack range how much damage does this do that does 14 damage this does 20 damage let's do the random axe stone we are like not hurting these people at all. Oh, that was a bad time for me to dodge. I should have dodged into those guys. Help me. Protect me, lightning thing. Ooh, I just took a lot of damage. All right, so we got all the braziers. Our next objective is in 45 seconds. You can see it on the top left. I'm pushing towards that chest that's on the map. That golden thing will give us uh, health and stuff, but it's really hard to get to, especially with all this stuff attacking us. Let's see if we can get it. Come here, you motherfucker. Oh my god, there's so much shit. I can't get to it. I'm gonna go get that chest. The chest gives you like a little perk. Food! Food is health. The chest gives you like a little trinket uh, that does different things. Get away from me! I'm moving away from my objective though. Which isn't good because the longer time goes on, the harder this shit gets. Uh, restore health. We don't need that. Gold. Uh, this wasn't worth coming down here for. I'll just do the haste thing. I'll use the haste thing to get back to, uh, to the objective. These objectives are honestly pretty hard. They don't seem to be different. Like the next one is defeat the champions. The, it basically summons this really beefy character that takes a long time to kill. Uh, Thor's hammer. Each attack has a chance to strike multiple. Do Thor's hammer. All right, let's summon this dude. All right, so now we have to kill this guy. There's two of these guys that we need to fucking kill too. Stuff gets overwhelming really quick. Now this mage dude showed up. Though that mage guy isn't even one of my targets. He's just an asshole. 
<laughs> see if we can kill him. He makes this a lot harder. If we can kill him, that'd be very helpful. Uh, stun enemies on hit. Raise the damage of all of our skills. That's like the axe and everything that's coming out of us. And all these enemies just keep getting tougher and tougher too. Oh, I just lost so much health. And we're getting back into the corner. Not good. We still have to fight another one of these things too. We're already at 10 minutes. That crack in the ground like makes it really, really it makes it so we can't cross it which kind of sucks god damn it there's so much shit the mage is almost dead all right we got that uh critical chance 15 percent for 40 seconds give us a bunch of uh, critical chance 15 percent Come on. I have to use this to kill this guy. Shit. Ah, uh, shit. Thor. Help me, Thor. Triggers on attack. Summons the lightning sentinel. Okay, so we can level up our lightning sentinel. A uh, chance to stun enemies with each attack. Let's do that. He still has so much health. Oh, we stunned him for a little bit. That's nice. Shit. All right, so we need to summon and beat another one of those. Uh, where's the other one at? Further down. God damn it, those blowing up guys fucking suck. Uh, stop. Oh, that took that took away so much of my health. And we have a bunch of archers that are fucking us up right now, too. I'm gonna, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Oh! What the hell hit me? That looked like it was my own axe that hit me. It, this shit's tough. The, the further time goes on, like, shit just gets out of hand. Let's see if there's anything that we are able to upgrade. New upgrades in the temple. Very nice. So we have 27 gold. Let's see. What can we do? How much is it to do these? Ooh, these are 300 gold. They're good, though. That's like literally a revive. Um, resource bonus after successful raid. I don't even know what that means. Let's do... Honestly, we need the health gen. Oh, that's 60 gold. All of those are 60. <laughs> These things are getting pricey. I'm gonna have to start just saving up my gold. Let's do max health. And let's give us another try. I really can't wait to get these other characters. Ah, she looks like such a badass. All right, let's give this another try. On this one, I'll, uh, I'll push the objectives a little bit quicker. As soon as we're able to go to the go to the thing we'll start heading that way all right brazers there's one up here let's do freya every level up we get a gold that's good for grinding but i want to try to get as far as i can right now each cast each spell can be cast twice let's do this so this one will make a little golden sword that pops up and does damage every once in a while. All right, that's one brazier. A little bit of Thor action. The Sentinel didn't do great on us last time. Upon taking the hit, there's a chance. I don't want it to do off of hit. All right, we just hit, get a little lightning, X lightning. That'll help for whenever we have a bunch of enemies. All right, here's these fucking fire guys. You can get them and like kill them before they blow up, but you still have to like move. All right, all right, all right, get off me. 
more gold do some more thor Ooh, max health by 100 that's a lot let's do that health is important all right pick up some of our xp as we go you piece of shit archer you know, we have to get all the way back to that other uh that other brazier move a little bit faster excuse me mr skellyman uh let's do freya again rewards gold valkyrie descent oh okay this makes the valkyries fall down and they leave like uh puddles of fire they do a, like a lot of damage whenever they hit the ground but they uh oh, i just lost so much health you don't control where they hit though they just kind of hit randomly all right next objective is in one minute so while we're waiting for that to happen we're gonna try to level up as much as we can We've lost so much health already. Ooh, there's a lot of archers over there. Let's go to back to the Berserker. Uh, boost attack speed with decreasing health. More movement speed. Dash steals damage and throws away enemies standing. I haven't done that one. Eh, it's kind of cool. Okay. Let's see if we could find... Oh, there's a chest. Oh, look, there's a golden thing, too. Let's try to get this golden thing this time. I'm, I'm trying to hit it with the lightning, but I missed. Uh, getting this thing is like... It's... There's so much stuff trying to kill you while you're trying to get this thing. <laughs> Come here, you. Yes. A lot of gold and a little bit of health. All right. Now we got the champions. Uh, and they're all on the other side where we are not going. Try to make our way back that way. Make my way down, pal. I wonder if we should just wake both of them up at once. Is that a bad idea? Uh, this fucking this big ass crack in the in the in the fucking center of the thing. We got our health back. I should be using my uh my ability more I'm not doing shit to damage on this guy I need I need more damage uh, critical chance assault uh, chance to trigger rage let's just do our critical damage I'm getting back into a corner. Now there's a mage. Fucking hate this guy. Ooh. Mage is almost dead. I'm like concentrating way so much. All right, Mage is dead. There's a chest there that I can't get to because there's a million people in the way. There's so many fucking people. I like cannot get to this thing. Uh, 
all damage, 30%. We might use that just to kill these guys. Thor, give me more power, Thor. I can increase my health even more. Chance to stun. Fuck it, more health. We're, let, we're just gonna try to tank this one. I should have to kill another one of these motherfuckers. Help me, Valkyries. Now, there's a blow up, guys. I'm trying to keep him diagonal. Okay, there we go. Try to make that lightning do as much damage as possible. Bunch more gold. Now we still have to go wake up the other guy. I need to help my boy. Um, yeah, fuck it. Each attack has a chance to stun. I need to go get one of those chests to possibly get like health regen or something. Because if not, we're not going to make it through this. Uh, critical chance radius heal 125. That's what we need. All right, we gotta go wake up as a boy. We're already at eight minutes. Eight minutes left. There's a chest over there too. Might as well go get the chest first. Oh my Jesus! Open, open, open. Uh, all damage 30% for 20 seconds get all the crystals in 30 meters will the crystals give us enough to level up our bars on the bottom our bar does not look that full 30 seconds hit 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 do damage come on wake up you motherfucker oh i didn't wake him Level 10. Uh, more Valkyrie. Uh, chance to stun when we get hit. Tables blessing. Create an area of healing when you stay still. It's like impossible to stay still. Let's reroll. A uh, quick roundhouse swing. What? I still had health. Ooh, I got a new modifier. Chance on enemy death, 2% effect, invulnerable and hasten. Ooh. I don't know what the fuck killed me. That was bullshit. All right. So we have 38 gold. We got a lot of gold on that one. Wasn't, aren't these 30 or what are these? These are 60, 60, 15. Uh, do, 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 do. All right. Let's do, let's up our starting damage and make our collection range a little bit bigger so that we get crystals that are further away and what was that thing that i got let me see so modifier chance on enemy death invulnerable and hasten okay so this actually makes it so that when an enemy dies they become invulnerable and hastened for 20 seconds there's a two percent chance that that happens no i don't want that on I can't even beat it regular yet. <laughs> Fuck that. All right. One more try. We can do it. Kill these little bug things. Let's do some berserker stuff. Uh, 5%, 30%. Replenish his health upon critical hit. Let's do this. So anytime we get a critical hit, we get a little bit of health back. Start making our way to the braziers. Do a little bit of Thor. 
That cross lightning, it was okay. Each attack has a chance to strike multiple nearby enemies. Let's do that. I bet if we level that up, I bet that would be good damage. Oh, we didn't even get the fucking brazier. God damn it. All right. Got that one. Let's stick with Thor for right now. Uh, upon taking a hit, there's a lightning strike. Let's do, let's do Molnir. Let's do the hammer, Thor hammer. Yeah, you get you get really swarmed by those things, huh? All right, go down to the other one. Thor all the way, baby. We could get more health. Chance to stun enemies with each attack. We'll do that one. That might help since we're always on the move. Hopefully it'll slow some of the other ones down. All right, next objective in one minute. Now we just have to not die and try to level up a bit. Do some Freya. Increase the damage. That's that one slashing thing. What does this disc do? Oh, there it goes. That disc does decent damage. You just can't control where it goes. We got some archers fucking with us. We start going to that chest. We got 40 seconds until the next thing happens. I think I might just try to wake up both of them at the same time. Because, I mean, all they have is that uh, shield smash, pretty much. Let's see. We don't need a heal. And both of these just last for 20 seconds, so whatever, that's fine. We could use the, the bonus speed to get to the get to this gold guy. Oh, did we stun him? Oh, that's massive. That stun was huge. All right. Now we gotta go wake up our wake up our champions. I'm gonna wake up both of them. Fuck it. Uh, Thor. Lightning strikes in every direction, hitting enemies. What? Triggers on level up. It only triggers on level up. We'll try it. I'm open. I'm waking up your brother. Don't do it. All right. Let's see if this was a good idea or a bad idea. I mean, we could level up. But apparently that does like a hundred damage. Wow. Why don't y'all swing your shield at the same time? That would make this a lot easier. That dude just blew up on me and it hurt so much. Fuck off, blowing up guy. And we have the mage. Alright, this may have been a bad idea. 
and we have like a million archers right here. I need to level up. Is that all that it did? Was that the lightning? That didn't do anything. Uh, I need the health. That little circle of lightning did nothing. Oh, that's so much shit. This is a golden guy, but we can't really do anything about that. I'm at the edge of the map. So much red. All right, the mage is dead. I cannot get his chest. There's no way. Oh, they're almost dead. There's so much stuff in the way, though. I stunned one of those big guys. That was huge. Those blowing up guys are the ones that kill me. Come on. Got one of them. Oh, he's so close to dead. Ooh, got them both. He has food. Run. Next objective in 30 seconds. Yeah, that lightning level up is garbage. It, it only happens when you level up and it's small as hell. Like if you're not paying attention when you level up, it's pretty, pretty crap. Uh, chance to stun enemies upon taking a hit, uh, do the Valkyries. Yeah, that, that level up one is not, is not good. Like it, it might save you whenever you're getting swarmed, but I mean, it's it's kind of random timing and everything. Like if I could activate it, if you if it was a trigger that you could activate every level, that would be good. Cause like I would have activated it there. Next objective: survive the curse of winter. Oh, there's a there's a health thing on the map. Curse of Winners right there. I mean, fuck it. I guess we'll get it going. I don't even know what's going to happen. I'm going to die. They make everybody slow. If they made everybody slow, I can. I'm fine with this. Everything. Everything just feels. Ah, that fucking archer got me. Uh, there's a level up. We killed some stuff around me. Uh, increase, pull down, damage. These are the people coming down. Let's do the double strike. Oh, there's another mage somewhere. I'm trying to get down to that health. I mean, I guess we just have to survive this, so... Just stay away from people. Excuse me. Pardon me, sir. Health. Oh, I'm at the edge of the map. All right, we survived that. What now? Next objective, two and a half minutes. Ah, oh, shit. There's so much crap. Uh, we can't cross that. Uh, attack speed for 20 seconds. Healthy attack speed.
just try to stay alive. Oh, a subclass. Uh, attack damage, 30%. Cooldowns, health regen. I kind of want the attack damage, honestly, but I don't think we could skip this health regen. Push up here to this chest. I need to kill this fucking mage. Swing, my man, swing. Oh, there's so much shit. No, oh, that's the blow up guys. The blow up guys kill me. No. I'm coming chest. Oh, he dropped food. Oh. Stop. Get away from me. <laughs> uh, I need to fight my way out of this. Get off me. Ten health, movement speed. What? I I still had like 300 health. I'm gonna have to look back and see how the fuck I died. I, I feel like I still had like so much health left. Huh. I don't know. We're gonna end it on that one though. It's it's fun. It's chaotic. There's a lot of shit. And I mean, I there's pretty much no way to beat it until you get yourself a few of these uh, passives because it gets so overwhelming that if you don't have those passives and stuff, it's just a, a difficulty creep. It gets to the point that if you're not dealing out enough damage or healing enough, I mean, the swarm is just so big, you're gonna die. But I think it's pretty cool. I think these character models are pretty nice. I really wanna play as this chick, uh, the rogue, is whatever the archer i like playing archers too so the archer would be fun but yeah let me know what you think about the game and hopefully you enjoyed the video hopefully i see you in another one of my videos and 